Hello guys welcome back to my channel and a new Call of Duty mobile video and in this video we'll talk about the top 5 weapons in Call of Duty mobile multiplayer season 1. So I usually don't do voiceovers for something related to multiplayer because at this point I like BR more in the game than multiplayer. Having said that I love playing Call of Duty mobile multiplayer. I think it's literally one of the best multiplayer experience among any other shooter games on mobile right now. Except for a few things in multiplayer I think the overall multiplayer experience in COD mobile is great. Also I try to make a top 5 video only when there are some major changes in the meta i think it's been a while since the last time i made a top 5 video and i think now might be the best time to make a top 5 video so i'll mention a few weapons that are definitely worth a try and then i'll mention the top 5 weapons in the game okay so let's get started with it the first weapon that is definitely worth a try according to me is the fennec it's literally the fastest fired weapon in the game the only problem with it is that it is only viable very close range it has a very high fire rate also it has a very insane hip fire somewhat high recoil that you need to control but if you get past it i think it's really lethal the next weapon in the list is the dlq dlq is hands down one of the best bolt action snipers in the game i mean it has been number one since season 1 2019 and it's still one of the best go-to choices of any sniper player in the game i would say dlq is more viable only in tdm and search and destroys if you play rank not so much in domination and hard point because when you need to play objective snipers just might not be the best choice which is why it is not among the top five but dlq is definitely worth a try when it comes to snipers next up is the sks sks is one of the most unique weapons in the game right now it's a two shot kill to the body and one shot to the head which is what really makes it very unique the only problem with sks is that it has a very high learning curve to it but it's definitely one of the most fun weapons to use in the game right now So at number 5 we have the Kilo 141. So I waited a long time for this gun to actually come out and finally it was released for everyone yesterday and it is a really solid gun. It has a lot of drawbacks which is why it is number 5 right now but it's still one of the most unique choices of weapons that you can use right now in the game. So the thing about Kilo 141 is that it is actually a 3 shot weapon if you land 1 headshot and then 2 body shots or else it's overall a 4 shot weapon when you land anywhere on the upper body. You really need to be very precise with your shots and the recoil of the kilo is quite tough to read because it shoots somewhere in the middle of the spray so you can't continuously spray with kilo i really feel that if kilo gets improved any further it would definitely go up the rank in the future it usually happens in call of duty that if you get a mythic weapon at some point or the other it definitely makes it into few of the best weapons in the game so right now i think kilo is just good enough to be number five it's definitely worth a try it has a very high learning curve to it we cannot neglect that but it's just not the best choice if you're playing objective you just can't play objective with this gun you really need to be more of a passive player hold angles pre-aim almost every single angle that you could and that's when this gun can be the most effective so it's definitely not one of the best ars that you could use right now in the game but it's still a very solid gun to use next up at number four we have the rus now this might be a little surprise to you guys but trust me guys i think at this point rus is one of the most underrated weapons in the game rus can be a pp19 bison killer if you are a new player it has very much minimal recoil and one of the attachments which actually gives it like a 50 round mag among the smgs that have a higher mag like the cordite or the aug or the pp19 bison i would say rus would be one of the best choices for you because it has a very high fire rate also it has a decent damage attached to it and it is almost a four shot kill everywhere on the upper body you should definitely give this weapon a try this gun might get compared to qq9 for me i think qq9 is really good up close but i think rus is a more versatile choice than qq9 and also the recall of the qq9 shoots a lot after the initial spray and that's when rus comes into play because the recoil in rus is almost minimal and it can be really useful when it comes to clutch situations so you should definitely give this weapon a try So now let's move to the top 3 weapons in the game but before we do that I just need to mention that these 3 weapons can easily interchange positions in the top 3 depending upon your playstyle. I'll just arrange them in the top 3 depending upon my playstyle. With that being said, number 3 in the list would be the M13. It's literally one of the best ARs in the game since it got released. It has a very high fire rate, minimal recoil, has a decent eye inside made be the default version or the mythic version and this weapon is still one of the go-to choices made be ranked or made be even competitive play. So number three 
three in the list would be the M30. And at number two would be probably one of the best ARs and that is the Type 25. Type 25 since it got the recoil buff, it has minimal recoil and it obviously has one of the fastest fire rates in the game and you can just beam oppositions at any range with it and it's also very good at very close range. So right now Type 25 is arguably the best AR that you could use in the game. My build, I went with the red dot because just not comfortable using the default iron side but you can build it either way if you're comfortable using the iron side or if you have a pay to win iron side like it has for its legendary versions you can definitely switch up the red dot with a perk of your choice and lastly at number one would be the cbr or the p90 as it should have been called in the game but it's called cbr and it's literally one of the best guns in the game i said earlier mythic weapons eventually do make it to the top five the way i try to build cbr is build it more for range so it can actually operate as good as an assault rifle even at medium to long range and it's also one of the most lethal weapons at close range because it has a very high fire rate and minimal recoil that is really one of the most versatile guns so even if you're playing objective even if you're running around just slaying oppositions even if you're just trying to control spawns i think cbr could be your go-to choice in either of the cases so number one would definitely be cbr so I think that's all guys for this video. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think of this video. Do mention if there are any weapons that I missed out and I'll give that weapon a try and try to make the best build possible for it. I was really excited for season 1. I was really hoping there might be quite a big changes in multiplayer especially with the PPSH and Kilo coming in but I think the overall dominance of PPSH and Kilo wasn't so much big when it comes to the existing meta at least in multiplayer and these guns might get a buff somewhere midway in in the season or maybe in the early season 2 but I think if you're grinding in rank right now I think the weapons that I mentioned would be more than sufficient for you to reach legendary. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.